it's Brock, and we got a brand new episode coming to you today. Hope you all have been having a really good weekend. Today we got a brand new episode all about the zebra lionfish. Now this is also a dwarf lionfish, which is good if you're wanting to get a lionfish that does not get just ginormous. He's not one like the volatins who can get well over a foot long. So this is a nice one to have if you don't want to have just a massive tank in your house to keep a lionfish. Prices on them, a little bit more expensive. You'll normally pay about $80 to get one of these, and mostly because they come from so far away, and just because the colors on them look so good. Tank size, at the beginning, you know, you can usually get these dwarf lionfish only being about 2 to 3 inches long, so you need at least a 55. That'd give him plenty of room to swim around, and as he got older, you definitely want to upgrade as he got larger. You know, eventually having something like 120 gallon or bigger to house him in, depending on how big he ended up getting. Care level, I would say moderate, and the main reason is just because of getting them to eat can be so difficult at the beginning. It can be very stressful, and it can be very hard on them to start eating what you're feeding them, but we'll talk about some tips and tricks to get that rolling. Temper, they are definitely semi-aggressive. Now you are dealing with a very predatory fish. Now dealing with other fish that he can't eat, you won't see him like bullying other fish, but I'm telling you for the ones that are smaller that he can see as a snack, he will chase them down constantly. Reef safe is definitely with caution. It's not a problem with the corals. It's actually a problem with your shrimp and your small fish in the reef tank that he would go after. Pretty much the rule that I always go by is if it can fit in its mouth, I can tell you he's going to chase it down and eat it one day. So make sure you have larger fish in your reef tank if you're wanting to put them in there. And the only other issue I've seen with them is him perching on different rocks that might have some corals on them and cause them to shrink up. And that might become his favorite spot to sit on. So I know a lot of people don't want to deal with that and having your pretty corals being shrunk up all the time with a fish on top of them. Temperature, you want to keep at 72 to 78. DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. You keep all those in check, you'll have a really good fish for you. Another big thing about them is as they are a big eater, they definitely do make a mess in the tank, so you definitely want to stay on top of your water changes as you do have this predatory fish in your tank. Max size, so it kind of varies with dwarf line fish. They can sometimes grow bigger than you thought, and sometimes they'll stay smaller than you thought. Basically going from about 6 inches to 10 inches in that range will be about how big this zebra gets by the end of his time. Venomous, yes they are definitely venomous. It is a lionfish. Those top spines are definitely where you can get stabbed by them and that will inject you. And it can also inject a fish if they were stabbed by that. So make sure you stay away from those top fins anytime you're in the tank. Be very cautious. Now a lionfish is not one that's going to charge you whenever you're in the tank. It's mainly whenever he's behind a rock and you don't think to look and you reach behind that rock and you're accidentally grabbing the lionfish. So it's one thing before you get into your tank, figure out where he is, try to move him to a corner with a net. That way you know where he is and you know where you can go. Colors are definitely a reddish brown with white stripes going all down its body and on its fins. It's a very pretty fish, especially under some white lights. This was a new one that we had in some more deeper blues just to keep them calm. So you aren't really getting to see that really nice coloration on them. But definitely Google some pictures of them. They have a nice, nice red color on them. Diet. So they are carnivore. They love eating anything meaty. So what I definitely recommend is eventually getting them on some kind of frozen food you can get them. Like frozen shrimp from the grocery store is a really easy one. You definitely want to make sure it is raw shrimp. Make sure it's not something that's seasoned for them or anything like that. Nothing crazy, just plain old raw shrimp. And what you can put on a little skewer and dance that around the tank and it make it look alive so that he sees it and wants to chase it down and eat it. Now off the bat, he might not want to go after a little piece of frozen shrimp. So you might have to use things like live ghost shrimp to dump in there for him to chase after because those will be running around the tank like crazy and he'll love it. Also what they eat in the wild are little chromies and damselfish. So if you eventually have to end up feeding him some of those just to get him to eat, that's also another choice. But the good thing to check, the best practice for when feeding that live food is right after you feed some of the live food, put that skewer down in there with the frozen food and he'll basically trick himself into eating that as well right after eating the live food and then you eventually get them on eating that frozen food. Origin, they do come from all the way over on Eastern Asia. 
they go all up and down those reefs in there compatibility just ask you can have multiple in a tank and you can also have different types of lionfish in that same tank so they do really well together they won't bother each other they'll just be hanging out swimming around you just want to make sure they're all eating really well having multiple predatory fish like this in the tank will cause you to have to feed more and feed bigger food so of course like i said earlier make sure you're keeping on top of them water changes because your levels are definitely going to come up with putting them with other kinds of fish remember the rule of thumb is anything that can fit in his mouth he will probably chase after it chromies damsels little gobies or wrasse anything like that that's small he will chase them down so make sure whenever you put them in a tank put them with things like angels tangs bigger trigger fish you know puffers things like that and if you have some fish in your tank that you're unsure of please leave it down in the comments so i can help you out but aggression wise towards other fish he really doesn't mess with them unless he sees them as food when building a tank for a lionfish or putting one in there you definitely want to have some big caves and arches for them to perch on and also hide behind especially whenever they're first introduced they'll most of the time stick to the back of a rock but eventually they'll come out as they get used to it and also plenty of open room as well because in the ocean they're swimming in the open most of the time you don't want to put them cramped up in a place where he can just only perch you definitely want to have some open room at the top and in the front of the tank for him to swim around other than that that pretty much hits on everything for the zebra lionfish if you do have any questions or things i didn't touch on please leave them down in the comments or reach out to me on social media i would love to help you out if you have one in your own tank, please leave your experience down below. It definitely helps us all learn more whenever we see how yours is doing in your tank. Hope you all have a great rest of the week. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. Tell your friends about us, and I will see y'all later. everybody it's brock and today's video is sponsored by dream team forever make sure to check out our website as we just released the first ever all about tees that feature 30 fish and inverts from the series click the link in the description to get some for you and your family